on you. So, like I say, it doesn't really give you any kind of reason not to die at the moment. And I think I'm going to enjoy this game so much more when it does give you a reason to try and not to die. But as you can see, we're gathering quite a bit of wood at the moment. Maybe take down one or two more trees and we'll flatten the ground a bit. To flatten the ground you will have to uh, dig the flowers and stuff off the ground above it first. Stop shooting us man! Right, go away! Leave us alone. Try to do some gardening here. Right, and as you can see, the plants actually illuminate up the area as well. So the more you dig away, um, the, the darker you're going to make it. And this spider's coming all the way for us. So when you do start digging stuff away, you do want to be careful. Enemies, man. So as you can see, the darkness has got. Uh, sorry, the light's gone. The darkness has turned up, and um, that makes things spawn a lot quicker. I do believe. Now, as you can see, when you go to dig, it's doing three blocks at a time. It does take a few more hits, or you know, a few more swings of your shovel to do in three bricks at a time. But simply by pressing M, you can move it to just one. A lot quicker to do it, one block at a time, like it doesn't take as many swings of your um, shovel or pickaxe or whatever. But it does only do damage to one cell at a time. So what I tend to do is leave it in three block mode. Unless I really need to actually shape a certain part of the landscape in a certain way. At which point, obviously, I'll move down to one block mode. And again, we've got a, a nice bit flat bit of ground here to start off with. We'll just flatten this side out. Then we will uh, craft some wood out of our logs. And start building our house. You can uh, scroll in and out. All you have to do is hold in shift and use the scroll wheel. I think the graphics are absolutely brilliant. Scrolled in or scrolled out. I do like to be scrolled out either most of the way or all the way. Just so I can see what's going on around us easier. Just trying to uh, get m as much of this squared off as possible. Because uh, we will just have to do it at some point, I suppose. No point making a, um, a small house now when we're just going to have to make it bigger. I mean, I might put the walls down a bit smaller than what I need at the moment if I haven't got enough resources. But, you know, the walls are easily changed. Get rid of these enemies. Okie dokie, right, okay, let's open crafting. We've got 119 points. We need to craft some wood. I think we've got a lot, so let's just make that. Come on. Okay. The number pad doesn't seem to work. It used to. Uh, and yes, numlock is turned on. I'm not that daft. But anyways, there's some wood. Press C to close the crafting menu. Um, in fact, press C again to open it back up because we need to go back to building and we need to make some wood walls and wood back walls. Wall wood, we'll make those first um, 50. Again, I'm trying to use a numpad and it doesn't work for some reason. But we'll craft that. Done. Press C to close. Tab to open inventory. And there you are, you see, we have 50 wooden walls. 
or blocks of wooden wall if you like. We'll put that there, we'll press tab to close our inventory, we'll scroll to there, and there you go, you see, and start putting the floor down. Now I know I've got an item or two in my hot bar at the bottom, which I have not explained yet. Purposely done that because it's easier to explain once I've got a man-made floor down in place. A nice big shack on the top of this hill. Gonna need a lot more wood wall than what I thought. There's 25 there. Um, yeah, will 25 do? For, 25 will do for now, surely. And what I want to do is put one there. No, that's wrong. There. Yeah, that's better. That's where I want it. Put another 25 down across the top. There we are. We'll craft a few more. As you can see, we've got lots of logs left and lots of wood. I do believe one bit of wood makes two wood walls. Um, see if I can make them before this jellyfish. Oh, he's turned around. That's alright. I think I need four more bits of wall, I think. Two doors. That'll do for now. I will need a uh, back wall as well, obviously. But we'll do that in a sec. Just doing this for now. Right. Oh, you bugger. Shit, shit, shit. Oh! Keep sprinting out of there, man. What are you doing, man? Go away! Oh! You dickheads, man, honestly. Right, I did put the door down there, but I accidentally picked it back up. Just right click to put it down. Shift, left click to close and open it. Get this other one down before all these bloody bad guys come at us. I don't know what that is. I know I can pick it back up. I don't want to pick it back up, man. What? Oh, get rid of that wood wall, you muppet. Right, close the door. Right, okay. Now, hopefully we're relatively safe. I'm not sure. Can these get two walls? It doesn't look like they can. I'm not... Too sure what the use of a back wall is at the moment. Um because it doesn't seem like monsters can get in through the background, if you know what I mean. But just because it is more aesthetically pleasant, we shall do our back walls. I think we need like what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times twenty-five. Anybody do that math quickly? That's 175, I believe. Um, but obviously we've got a bit of dirt in the back wall already here, so let's see if we'll make 150. 150 back wall wood. Back wall wood. 150 please. Whoa. So I only had enough to make 142. I do still have logs I can craft into more wood at the moment. But we'll just leave that for now. We'll see how uh, how much of it we can do with this. In fact, what I'm also going to do is that. I love the lights of that. I think it looks great. Shows up the background a lot better as well. Love it. Put some torches down. Lovely jubbly. Now we can get on with placing these back walls. Let's 
See how the woods merging in with the, the the mud backgrounds as well. All good. Shouldn't take too much longer to do this. And then what we can do is, once this first floor starts getting quite full of stuff, we can remove some of the wall here, or some of the ceiling, and replace it with, um, what they're called. Wooden platforms, and that will allow us to jump up onto it and drop through, down, down back through them as well. Um, very much like Terraria. Which is good, makes it a lot easier to uh, change floors and obviously it's a very good idea to have a shit ton of... I forgot the name of them again already, what the hell? Platforms, isn't it? Yeah, platforms, man, you idiot. It's a good idea to have a shitload of platforms with you um, when you go spelunking into caves. Um, it can be quite hard and sometimes even tedious trying to get back out especially if you've gone pretty darn far nearly done putting all this wall in oh even two bits spare look good stuff Right, so we've got a slightly safe place to live now. Um, what I'd like to do is use a couple of more of these torches, however. There we are. Get up, get up there, go on, go on. Jump! Nah, never mind. I was going to put a couple on the roof as well, but I don't really need to. I just want to make sure, you know, we've got a good bit of light around the house. And that should hopefully stop as many enemies at least spawning in. Right, let's open crafting. Oh, look at all the points we have. Amazing. Let's get some research done. I definitely want to research the rest of my leather suit. Hunky Dory, that's great. Um, we've still got loads of points left, actually. Furnace is quite good, we do need that to craft some other um, more involved stuff pretty early on. Um, arrows and bow, yes, but watch. Max number of research items in the queue, as you can see there, I've already got four things in the queue. That bar raising up, once it reaches the top, about there, 